Oh my, these guys are... I already, I already lost someone. I straight up already lost someone. Hello everyone, time to grind here, and today I wanted to play more of Monster Sanctuary. And Monster Sanctuary is a game uh, that is is honestly really, really uh, surprising me with how good it is. You know, I heard so many good things about it, but it is, if you haven't seen the first Let's Play, um, I would definitely recommend watching that because it kind of goes through me kind of pretty much just doing the tutorial, you know, discovering it, but... Um, if you were still watching at this point, you haven't seen the first one, uh, quick little filler, it is a Metroidvania, uh, like, Pokemon game, pretty much. Uh, Monster Tamer game, so it's pretty awesome. We kind of just got to the first, um, I guess, boss, if you want to call them. There's these things called champions, uh, and I guess this is kind of the Metroidvania part. I have no way of, you know, getting across that. I'm sure I'll get a, you know, uh, a monster at some point that'll allow me to do that. Um, I also don't think I can go down there. The other ones I have, I have a boat, a, a turtle thingy, I got Lego, a cat thing, and Jello, a slime. Um, and so if we switch to these, you see I kind of have the different abilities. This guy will slash things. Um, this one will kind of blow bubbles. And so they all do different things out of combat as well. Um, so we're kind of just trying to discover things. We're getting some gold. Um, Ooh, okay, there was a secret. I only saw that because of the map. Um, I saw that there was a thing. So, helmet, defense, and attack. See, this is... Okay, this is really cool, honestly. Like, having a monster tamer game that's a Metroidvania, like... Metroidvanias are definitely, like, one of my favorite genres. So, to have, like, a monster tamer version of it um, is really cool. So, here's more of these guys. Um, I don't necessarily... Okay, yeah, I want to fight the bug, because I don't have the bug. And my, my goal... Oh, we're just going to fight all of them, I guess. Um, my goal is that I want to have one of everything, you know. It's just kind of the the training, uh, or the, the Pokemon thing in me. Oh, I did not mean to hit that person. I meant to the, hit the guy in the middle there. Um, but either way, we'll go ahead and slash... Um finish off this guy. We'll, we'll get the guy last time. And I remember that uh, last thing we learned from last episode was the combo meter in the top right. So I actually really should be hitting people like with multiple hits first. So like this guy, we should do him first. Um, because that increases the combos and the combo hit. And so, you know, now if we then say, I don't know, fire claws this person. Oh, that is so good. Um, this then attack will deal like a lot extra because it's technically getting 140% extra damage because of the combo meter. So it's just an interesting way to kind of think about the game. Um, and then we finish them off. Let's see if we get the egg. There's like a chance the better you do to get like a rare egg. We did four stars. Oh, we got a magna pillar egg. Here we go. We also got a belt, which is another rare item. So we now have a magma pillar. Magma pillar. What do we got to name them? We got to name all of these. It's just, I guess, the thing with this let's play. We got to name them all stupid kind of things. What are we naming our magma pillar? Um, uh... We're, we're gonna name him. I can't. I, I'm so uncreative, honestly. Um, we're gonna name him Jimmy. Honestly, can't can't think of any name better than Jimmy. So, what does Jimmy look like? He's already at level four, so we can already get him uh, three skill points. By the way, this skill point feature is like the coolest thing ever. Um, so, what what can he do? He can deal some fire damage. Deal some magical damage, just normal. Uh, buffs the whole team. Gives a shield all for one. Oh wow, okay. Maybe we just have this guy like a super support. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get the oh buff to the whole party. It also applies regeneration to a random monster. I like that. Uh, aura, all monsters in this party deal 5% damage. Oh, having him just like such a support. That is so cool. Improves health rating by one. I don't really care about my health going up. What is this? Shield all for one. 100 plus 40 defense. 
That seems pretty good. If we're turning him into just a super support. Um, also, we probably have some things for him. Um, I, I'm going to get to a point, crit damage, I know we actually do want this guy on this, because this is like our crit guy. So, what is this, crit damage, crit chance, crit chance, oh, defense crit damage. You know what, I think it's fine just throwing it to someone random. Um, for the time being, I am going to, uh, at the very end of last episode, I like optimized all my items because I'm so early on in the game. I'll probably wait a little bit and then I'll just unequip everything and, um, you know, actually optimize it. But for the time being, we're just going to throw them on that. So what is this? There's a switch there. We still can't get up there. Oh, also what is, what is our Magna guy? Okay. He does like fire, which if we need that at any point, what are these? Is this like a water thing? Oh, that's how you open the doors. Oh, that's so cool. So then the other one here is fire, which we now have. See, that is such a cool way to do Metroidvania like thing. So we got some potions and Pandora's box. Defense plus 12, receive a random buff at the start of combat. This monster can receive another instance of that buff normally. That's, that's so cool. Um, I wanna give it to Lego. Here. No, because he's doing like whole his whole crit thing. We'll, we'll give it to here. Um, that is just such a cool, like I guess like it's a legendary or it's a higher rarity because it's like all these others are gray, but this is orange. So um, that is really cool. It's so cool exploring all this stuff. So I can't go up there. Um, so I pretty much need to just go back this way. And then we're going to have to go to the right. So... I know the two things that it said we could do um, that we should be focusing on is either locked in the cave, which we just got the key for, um, we can fight a champion, um, and then all the other thing is just go to like the random wizard school thing. So I definitely want to like fight the champion uh, if I can, because that would be pretty sick. So we're going to climb all the way up here. We haven't been to this bridge yet, I guess. It's a very long bridge. Oh yeah, fight these guys. I don't have any of these guys. I would love them. So I don't know what he actually got. Um, also, apparently I can... Oh, okay. You can select the different levels of if you want to cast it at level 2 or level 1. It's mainly just saving, you know, mana or whatever. Uh, this mud cannon is really good against this bird. Also, probably should have done the combo meter first. Um, oh, so it's down... It's. Even though I, that's what that is. We couldn't figure that out last, or I couldn't figure that out last Let's Play. The reason it was downgraded was because it's literally showing me like, I guess I don't have enough mana to do that, even though it looks like I will. Um, which is interesting. Oh no, I have 79. He only has 79 mana. So we actually need to get, kind of buff him there a little bit. Um, we'll, we'll go ahead and hit this. Also, I am now realizing I don't have my new uh, party member in here. So I wonder if it means like you can only have three at once or you can only have as many as they have. Um, that's interesting. We got a crit, so we did some bleed damage. I guess it only lasts for like one turn. So let's see here. Uh, we'll go ahead and yeah, just finish him off. Probably should be doing the multicasting. I literally, is that gonna be the meme? I'm just literally going to every like, ep <laughs> every episode I'm just gonna constantly be saying, oh, sh probably should have done the multi hit first. Let's see, get a crit. Nah. Surprised we didn't uh, poison him yet. Or we haven't poisoned anyone yet because that is kind of the build of this guy. Oh, we got five stars! So we got a yo Yowie Egg. I think, I hope that's how that's pronounced. And we got a bunch of other cool stuff. So, we actually got a couple cool things here. Um, skill tree. So we, we leveled him up on his fire stuff. Um, we probably want to increase the crit chance. Oh, we, we, yeah, let's do that crit chance thing. Because we are kind of doing that as well. Um... Also, we need to get him a little bit more mana. We can't just like, we can't just crit chance. This guy, okay, I had to have had like a mana 
Magic, Morning Star. Do I have a mana thing on anyone? Mana regen. Okay, bandana. Yeah. Just put on the uh, vital ring, sure. So then we can actually give this person the thing. Probably do. Oh, that. Ah, see, this is gonna. If I'm doing a crit build, I really want this. But I mean, he needs to be able to do that ability there. Um, so then the other thing we got, um, if I'm, because I'm just gonna spend so long in my inventory, is this Yowie Egg. Got him. Uh, what are we naming him? Um, we're gonna name him uh, Snow Cone. Very unoriginal. Actually, yeah, Snow Cone. I like that. Snow Cone. Okay. So what does this guy do? <laughs> what do you do? Uh, he does water, uh, ice damage. Um, we've got tackle physical damage, just beating physical damage. Applies channel buff to your whole team. What does that do? Active skills require 20 less mana. Um, I mean, having a single buff at a single time is pretty good. Applies glory, increase crit chance. Oh my gosh, increase crit chance. That's pretty cool. Um, so then, I don't know, we might as well get like a water. When this gets attacked, 40% chance to apply chill, which they lose 10 mana applied. Water attacks. We'll just increase the damage of water attacks in case we need to use him. So now, yeah, so I guess I don't know how many you can have at one time, but um, might as well see what he does. Yeah, okay, he just does like the kind of normal looking thing. A tome. Um, also, we got our freaking phones going off. Uh, how professional. A uh, tome. Potion. Okay, yeah, what is that tome? Um, still kind of getting used to the uh, inventory stuff. Um, plus mana regen, plus mana. Oh, that's a really good mana item. Um, I don't know. We'll just put all this stuff on him right now. Don't want to figure it out. So that was what's up here. So now we ultimately need to just go down and to the right and then down. And then that'll be like where the uh, big monster guy that we fight is. So made a lot of progress so far. We got a lot more of the people. We can kind of just, oh, no, I probably actually want to get her off here. Um, also real fast, it looks like, did I not? Oh, I couldn't go down there because I got to get smaller or something like that. That's right. So that, that's what's cool about Metroidvania is like you'll eventually like, I'll look back at this and I'll be like, oh, I wasn't able to go to those two places on the left. Like, I wonder why. Um, I don't really care about any of these guys. I'm gonna try to just dodge them. I ultimately don't want to catch them and I don't think I need to farm. Um, like I already have these guys. So we're gonna try to jump over them. Awesome. I, I really hope I'm not gonna be like super under leveled. I don't think I will be, but <laughs> um, this is now I think where I can fight. Yep, we can get through the door, and here's a champion. What's going on here? It's a monk. Um, choose monsters. Okay, you know what? I would rather have a uh, Jimmy. Uh, you know what? No, I'd rather have, if that's, if he's strong, does that mean he's strong against grass? I'm still kind of getting used to these. He's a, whatever. I'm gonna have Snow Cone in instead of Jello. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Boat, Lego, snow cone. There we go. Okay. So we're going to start off and we're going to do glory cast, which applies channel buff to a whole party and glory to a random monster. We're hoping it'll give it to my crit guy. Yes. Okay. So my crit guy got it. Um, and then we're going to just kind of start doing the mud cannon here. Couple multiple hits. And then we're going to just do our crit build. Oh, I don't even, did I do my crit build? I think I did my crit build. Maybe it does it twice because I upgraded it. Ooh, those are some... We don't have any healing with this party. I did just realize that. Um, so I don't know if there's a point to channel. Let's see. I think we're going to just... Oh, see, now I don't actually like... like I wish I would have had the healing guy, quite honestly. Um... Cause he's not doing, he's not very strong. So I don't know, we're just doing glory cast again. I don't know if that stuff stacks though. Um, 
But yeah, either way, we'll just keep doing mud cannon on this guy. This is gonna be our main damage here because we uh, or I don't know, we could we could get some crit stuff here. Physical damage, critical hits, yeah. Crit damage. Oh, see that gives us crit damage plus fifty percent if we actually crit. So I wonder. Oh, these are all really good with critting. I guess that's good. Um, I don't know. This seems like it'll actually give us the most here. Especially if we could, like, burn him. Oh, he is poisoned. I didn't notice we poisoned him. That's cool. Our poison turtle, like, strat's working a little bit. Because uh, I know anytime that our turtle guy gets hit, um, there's a, you know, chance. I don't know. Do we just keep buffing? That's so... I don't know. Oh, wow. He gave himself... We should probably be doing saving this mud cannon for the very last with the extra from the damage thing, um, quite honestly. But we'll just keep using fire claws here. Our person's like, oh, are they both like out of mana? Besides my like turtle guy, my turtle guy is fine, but um, yeah, he's got no not enough mana for that. Um. Yeah, I don't know. We're probably going to just do damage with him now at this point. I think that's probably the way, just to increase that combo meter. Um, we don't have enough mana to cast this for its first or its second level, but we're going to just do a ton of damage now with this combo meter. <laughs> our, our, our main turtle boy. Uh, what is his name? I can't even remember what we named him. What did... Boat. That's his name. Boat. Uh, Boat is also taking a ton of damage here. Um... But I think we should be good, quite honestly. I know we also have items as well. I don't even think we need to use items. Like, I'm that confident. Maybe we can get some... Oh, there we go. That's a crit. Good job. A four stars. We got a bandana plus one. Mana. Oh, it gives a lot of mana and a lot of crit chance. Level one. Get some... I still don't know what the crafting materials do. Um, we leveled up a lot of people here. So let's see. Um, so what were we doing here? We were doing a poison build. We were, oh, we were doing like a max mana build for him. That's what we were doing. So we might as well give him more mana. Um, this guy leveled up, even though he was not in the fight. I guess that's, I like that. I know a lot of people don't like that about Pokemon, but um, I'm kind of okay with it. So if we're having him be a super buff support guy, um, we probably shield all, just make the shield better, right? When attacking an enemy, generate a shield equal to 15% of max mana for each hit. Um, yeah, I don't know how much mana he has, so we'll just go ahead and like buff him that way, but we won't actually know for sure. And what were we doing here? We were doing healing. Um, I mean, if we were doing, see, like, I don't know who to use, like, in situations like this. Um, we will change bandana to bandana plus one. Um, oh, can I not have bandana and bandana plus one? I guess, huh, I guess that's fair. Um, okay, well, what's, what's back here? There's probably some more loot. Sustain ring, just a lot of mana regen. Okay, it's pretty decent. Oh, we got a okay. We got a good item this time. Uh, Ocarina, uh, mana plus twenty five. Healing skills, active and passive, increased by ten percent. Ooh, let's put that on our um, healing guy. I still don't know how to get that to work. Um, so now that we've done that. I think we just got to start going to the right, which unfortunately now I think is going to, uh, <laughs> I got to go all the way around. Um, I don't know if I missed something or not, but, um, making progress here though. I'm overall really, really enjoying this game. Um, like Hollow Knight is probably one of my favorite games of all time. That was kind of like the first game that really like got me into Metroidvania surprisingly. Um, also, I'm not even going the right way. 
I'm just not even, I'm getting too distracted by talking about a different Metroidvania to even concentrate about my my Metroidvania I'm playing right now. Um, don't really care about, can I, ah, uh, I was trying to like, yeah, I was trying to avoid that. Let's see here. Mm, just go ahead and arcane bolt. We don't need any healing yet. I'm kind of disappointed I can't have them all, like all six out at once, which I don't know why I'm sad at that. Like, I don't know why I was expecting to be able to have six people out at one time, quite honestly. Um, I don't know, maybe I can. I think it might be something where it's like, if you, if like there's six enemies, maybe you can have six of your people out. That might be my, my 10,000 IQ guess. These people, we kind of just, doesn't really matter how we kill them. Just gotta kind of kill them. Hey, we got the bleed. Don't know if that'll actually kill them. But we can dream. Right? That, <laughs> nowhere close. <laughs> nowhere close. Awesome. Oh, and we actually leveled up our snow cone. I don't know, not a big fan of snow cone, quite honestly, but um, I don't know, we might as well give him that passive. It's a cool passive where he uh, can just make people chilled if they hit him by, you know, there's a chance. Okay, we want to try to jump over these people as well, and we did. I like that, I like how it's like dodging them in the overworld. Oh, oh, here's a secret, here's a secret. Okay, see these things, I think, this guy can cut it. Awesome. There's just a lot of them. A lot of the people that got me in this. I just want my chest. I got a walnut. Get me out of here. Okay. <laughs> you know what? He can, he can... Is his name Lego? I think his name's Lego. Lego, Le can, Lego can come with us. I like him. Honestly, like the crit build I'm doing on him is pretty cool. And that's what I think is so cool about this skills tree. Ooh, don't have that person. Gimme. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Um, let's see. Oh, so that's cool. I just get a random buff because that one item and the one I have is magic skills deal 20% more damage. That's pretty good. I probably should be using his abilities at the end, but it is what it is. Try to kill off these slimes first so they can't heal each other. Probably should finish off this other one, but it's poison, so I think we can finish this off. Cool. Oh, that poison's gonna take way too long to get him, but... Punch combo. We don't need no healing. That's why I like I just have like a solid attack for him. Fireclaw apparently is really good here. Ooh, nice. Which means we will be able to kill this guy. We got four stars. We got a blob egg. Well, is, isn't the blob the the slime thing? Is that what Jello is? I can't even remember. Does it say like what the monster's original name is? Ever? Um. No, it's a slime, so... I did get a new... A blob egg. Oh, no, what? No, he's I, he's irrelevant. I don't even want him. I don't even want him. Like, how do I... I, I don't want you. Can I make you go away from me? Consumable. Like, I genuinely just don't want him here. Um, I know it's a harsh, but like... Um, team, blob, I don't think I can, that's unfortunate, I mean, I guess that's fair when I only have six, but like, I would think that there would be like a release from team or something, but, that's, that is fair, um, just checking one more time, this is how ups <laughs> upset I am having him, whatever, we don't have to use him. Um, I'm assuming when we catch something else, we'll 
you know, be on our way. Um, yeah, might as well fight this guy one more time because I do want to catch whatever that thing is. Um, and I, I am going to actually choose them with Jimmy now because I feel like Jimmy can... Jimmy can help out here, you know? Jimmy can uh, give us all a sustain. Or actually, I don't know, shields will probably be better. Just get those, like, extra health. That's so cool. Um, his fire claws are going to work real well on this. Um... Oh, Bottle Burst, will it just insta-kill one of these people? Oh, that's impressive. Okay, I'll take it. So we do the shield so we take no damage. Maybe that'll increase our chances of getting the rare egg. That's that's the 10,000 IQ play, you know. Oh, I probably should have waited. I could have one-shot if I waited. See, I, that combo thing, I'm telling you, that's how it's going to be. I'm always going to... Oh, does this guy even have a damaging attack that'll kill? Oh my gosh. Oh, it burned it. Is that going to... It got it. Oh my gosh. We did it. That got us four stars. Got us a rocky egg. Okay, there we go. That's that's what I wanted here. Uh, we did level up. This guy um, improves the attack rating. That's probably just very good. Um, if we're going on, you know, that type of thing. Now we have a rocky egg. Awesome. Rocky. Okay, what is his name? What is his name? Uh, his name's going to be... <laughs> I'm the most uncreative person in the world. We're going to name him Rocky Road. Rocky. Oh, no, no. I don't want to go all caps. That's got to be consistent. It's the, about the aesthetics, you know? Uh, Rocky Road. Beautiful. So now, how does this work? I can go, what? Okay, there we go. Rocky Road. Blob. So now there, I have like a bank down there, I guess. Save team? I don't know. New team? Uh, what? I don't know. Um, okay, but Rocky Road. I, I still wish I could get rid of that other guy down there. Um, okay, but Rocky Road. What does he got here? He's got Leaf Smash. Spore, it applies weakness. It does magic damage and applies weakness. That's pretty good, cool. Heal target. Um, yeah, let's 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 do spore. Let's just get spore leveled up, honestly. Um, every hit is 25% chance to remove a buff from a target. That seems pretty good. Um Improved mana. I think the improved just mana regen is probably going to be useful in some capacity. Um, and we'll do cleanse. I don't think it'll be like crazy good right now, but um, it's pretty good right now. You know, we're just going <laughs> to throw our items on them. Uh, I know we have food uh, as well. I'm just going to wait a little bit longer to just kind of do it all at once because I, I can't imagine it being like that satisfying to, uh, you know, watch. So, oh, so this guy can create rocks. Oh. Okay, so d can it go in midair? So could I go like... Oh, he can't... Okay, he can't do it if I'm in midair. But if I'm like on the edge of my thing... Oh, it's got to actually be on something? Okay, that's still going to be helpful. I just... I don't think I can truly get to what I want. Um, the way I want it. So, I don't know, they'll pr probably be like a dash or something like that. Um, we don't have these birds yet. And I feel like, yeah, a flying bird thing might be uh, pretty good. I don't know, we'll just start combat normally. Uh, mud cannon, looks like we're gonna just instantly kill these people. Maybe we can deal like a lot of damage here to um, hopefully increase the rare chance or whatever. Um, come on, burn them. Oh, there we go. I didn't even need that. That crit was brutal. Um, and then I don't think we're going to be able to finish him off with this. Yeah. Doing it in two turns is still pretty good, though. I'm going to be honest. Five stars. There we go. We already got it. Let's go. 
Okay, so let's check this out. Um, Vera, what are we naming it? Um, <laughs> we're naming it AC130. I don't even know if this is like the correct way to do it. AC130. Okay, I want to take a look at AC130 here. Um, honestly, could care less about snow cone. Um, skills here, beating, physical damage, applies might, just physical damage deals more, feather storm, ooh, wind, four times, so, so this is just, it does more attacks, but this overall does a little bit more damage, um, I don't know, I like this, because it gets the combo up, so let's just focus on a wind attack, we don't have any of those, um, it's physical damage, might as well buff our physical damage, um, Every buff action applies one random buff. Oh, that's that's pretty good. Um, each attack triggers an additional 40% damage hit. Power. Oh, so this is like a buffing thing. Um, mana plus, health plus. We'll do... Uh, we'll get our defense up, I guess. But mainly what I want to focus on is what will it... Um, oh, it tells you just what it, they do here. Cuts through vines. Um, levitates the player. Yeah, there we go. That's what I thought. Okay, here we go. Awesome. That's awesome. So it's like even catching them, like even if you're not going to use them, that's so useful because they like do things in the world. I think that's... I think that's amazing. Like, I could already probably go back to where I was a little bit. Um, could, could this get me up here? I don't know if it could. I don't... I don't know. I don't think I can. I'm sure, like, a speedrunner could, maybe. Uh, but I am not... Not that good, and I can't really jump in midair. If there was, like, a double jump, obviously, that would be a little bit easier. But, like, I'm already thinking back at the places that I could go to. Don't really care about these. Oh, no. <laughs> I got dropped right on them. Um, so, let's see. So, does that mean grass is good against them? I know. I'm trying to remember. Like, fire is good against grass. Do I have any other fire? It's so hard to tell. It's so hard to tell, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm. I, it's probably not hard to tell, but oh no, yeah. So Earth is just good against these people. Okay, so it was saying grass was. I gotta figure out like that kind of system. I'm sure I'm being like really dumb about it, but oh, I did not need to. <laughs> that was so overkill. Okay, um, yeah, we'll just mud cannon that guy. Probably could have waited to one hit. Oh, okay, there we go. Cool. Get some fire claws in here. One of them was a crit. Get a little bit of damage on here. Awesome, we got him. Okay, no, no one I really want to catch here. Uh, we did get another egg, but I don't care about that. And yeah, so there's like, can I even like, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't seem like there's a way to throw them away. Um, so we're finally here. We finally made it to Keeper Stronghold. We arrived back at the Keeper Stronghold. The Stronghold has served as a base of operations for the Monster Keepers for centuries. We should explore some other areas of the Monster Sanctuary next. The Blue Caves are located just below the Stronghold. Before we head there, you should prepare yourself and your monsters adequately. You can find merchants and a blacksmith in the Stronghold to ensure that your monsters always have the best food and the best gear. If you ever feel lost or aren't sure where to go next, you can talk to your menu and use the talk feature. The talk feature allows you to ask me about our current objective. That's pretty cool. Uh, this is the Keeper Stronghold, home to all monster keepers. Welcome, Keeper Aspirant. What is that? Tangu Dub Dubba. 
Man, here in the Keeper's Strongholds, monsters live alongside humans. We raise them to be our friends. A monster raised by a human would never attack a human. Okay. Also, we're now like in a different color. Um, there. Usually champion masters are very uh, rare, but recently they've been seen in all regions of the sanctuary. It's kind of a cool plot of just having like, you know, all of these crazy things going on here. So we're going to check out everywhere. Hello, fellow keeper. Are you aware how the execution part of the rating system is calculated? Uh, explain it to me. Execution is mainly based on how well you use the combo system. Your first two monsters increase the rating. Uh, rating if you manage to get a high combo count. The last monster increases the rating depending on how much damage it deals relative to enemy's health. Also, you get increased points if you exploit the enemy's weaknesses. Did you know the buff debuff rating not only counts for how many buffs and debuffs you applied, it also grants additional points depending on how often enemies took poison, burn, or congeal damage. My preferred strategy is just stay defensive and let my debuffs do the job. So a lot of guys to talk to, so apologize. Um... Utilizing the combo system properly is key to get a good rating in combat. Do you need a reminder how it works? Was it, wait, say the combo system? Oh, no, I, I, I know how the combo system works. Uh, I think the most important thing as a monster keeper is finding the right diet for all your monsters. Huh, yeah, I bet like half my monsters haven't even eaten. I wonder if there's a guy in here that'll let me sell that slime. <laughs> I don't know why I'm so against the slime, but I want it out. Um... Always think about having enough supplies. You never know what kind of dark times might be ahead of us. Let's see here. Okay, here we go. Here's a, uh, I guess, shopkeeper. Is there really... I don't think that there's, quite honestly, anything I need. You know, I'm sure, like, if I was, like, doing some 10,000 IQ plays... Um, revives target. Yeah, I don't, I don't think I need anything, man. He's selling food. Like, I, I know ultimately I should, but like, I'm just confident right now. <laughs> and I don't want to waste time on it. Hey, Rookie, got your first monsters. Be careful. A lot of strong champion monsters were spotted recently. The cause of all this hubbub, hubbub is unclear, but I'm determined to get the bottom of it. Oh, that's the other person with the other starter. That's cool. Want to help strengthen the Stronghold's monster armor? You can donate eggs you don't need to the Stronghold. We will raise and train them. You'll get a compensatory... 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 I don't know how I couldn't pronounce that. Reward for each egg you donate. Additionally, you'll increase the monster army's strength with each egg you bring in. When the monster army reaches a certain strength, you'll receive special rewards. That is awesome. Here's how we get rid of this. We donate the egg. We'll hatch and train the monster. Got some things. Uh, donate monster. Get rid of just normal blob. I don't want him. Great addition to the monster army. That's cool. This is really cool. That's a cool system. We have the teleport thing here in the stronghold. Um, got a blacksmith for crafting. I can upgrade equipment for you. I'll give you some materials to get started. Ooh, okay. Use these to upgrade some of your equipment. So can we turn this to like a kunai like two? Is that what that's saying? Kunai. Yeah, Kunai is really good, I think. So we'll, I don't know, buff that. So, oh, so it's Kunai plus one now. So now we could like buff it again if we wanted. Okay. Okay, I see how this works. So you should, I should actually be upgrading the really good ones like this. So like defense, just a lot more and we get a random buff. Cause I know we're gonna be wanting to use that. Uh, this ocarina, it'll just give him a lot more mana. Probably wanna, yeah, upgrade like all of these like kind of like rares or legendaries I have or whatever. We'll we'll save the rest of them. Um, kind of wanna just explore everything that this little stronghold has to offer. This is the keeper's tower behind me. Only true monster keepers are allowed to go inside. It's where all the strongest monster keepers go to train and fight each other. You can even fight against old champion monsters that you've already defeated. I can't wait to be a monster keeper myself. Wait, you can fight ones you've already fought? This is the Keeper's Tower. To access some of the rooms here, you need to reach a certain Monster Keeper rank. Your current rank is Keeper Aspirant Rank 1. You need to defeat one more champion to ascend to the Keeper Novice rank. Wait, so what is this? 
This is the dual circle. You need to have the rank of keeper novice to enter. I know that there's PvP in this game. Um, so I'm wondering if, like, it's, you know... This is the champion challenge. You can fight previously defeated champion monsters here to try and achieve a better score. If you set a new record, you'll get rewards you might have missed on when fighting the champion for the first time. Oh, okay. Oh, no, no, I don't want to... That's cool. That's cool. So you can just keep fighting them um, to see... And I'm assuming, you know, I can't go higher up until I get a higher level. Man, there's a lot in this game. This is really cool. We moved to the sanctuary only recently. It just seems so exciting to live in a place like this. I already even caught my first monster. You just first became one. So how many monsters do you have already? Oh, okay, just random NPCs. So we, I feel like we've already almost discovered most of the rooms here. Um, let's see here. Monster Keeper, this is the archive of the Keeper Stronghold. Centuries of Monster Sanctuary history is written down in all the books. I like to read about different monsters. Congratulations. Um, there's a lot going on over here. What is this? More NPCs? Oh, Holden, how are you getting along by yourself? You want to become a Keeper Master? You know me and your father both are only your only Keeper Rangers, so don't pressure yourself. Oh, this is my mom and dad. She gave me three health potions. Hello, son. How are you doing in your endeavors as a Monster Keeper? You want to reach the highest ranks of our order? A good goal. Your grandfather became a Keeper Dragoon. It's the second highest rank in the order, so we expect no less of you. But never put yourself in danger. Ooh, we got a good weapon. Or a, you know, thing. Oh, this is so cool. Um, what is down here? She won't let me in. This path leads to the eastern parts of the sanctuary, the stronghold dungeon, and the ancient woods. The monsters in these parts are unruly beasts. Uh, come back once you've beaten three champion masters and re reached a higher rank. Oh my gosh, there's even more of this to discover. It's a giant room. This exit leads to the blue caves. Other reported... Oh, okay, so this is where I think I'm ultimately supposed to actually be going. I'm assuming that person's going to want to challenge me. I'm going to just back up a little bit. I want to, like, discover everything I can. I don't know, that's something I like doing in games. Like, I want to make sure I, like, checked everything, you know, um, and whatnot before I kind of, like, move on to the next, you know, area. I want to make sure I didn't miss anything. So let's see. Ooh, okay. Well, I missed this up here. We got a staff. Yay. Okay, so... Um, yeah, now I'm pretty confident uh, we've discovered everything in here that we can at this time. Um, what I can do... Th theoretically, I feel like my flying guy might let me go through like all of those spikes that I had seen, but... Honestly, I'm not too confident in that because it seemed like it was a really long pit and this can only make me fly a little bit. Um, so I think we just go down into the blue caves um, and kind of see see what's up here. Hello, fellow spectral keeper. Ahem. I'm Will Vales, keeper of the spectral wolf, and you must be Holden. Did you hear the rumors? They say there's an unusual amount of champion monsters around. Mysterious, isn't it? Wouldn't it be awesome if we managed to hunt one down? That would grant us quite some respect in the keep. Perhaps I might even be able to discern the cause of the rise in the champion masters. Might be an unnatural phenomenon. Uh, I hatched my first monster only recently, though. I studied monsters and such for some years, but I still have some trebles. So I think we should support each other. The two, two other spectral keepers have an advantage on us. Leonard is a bit older, so he already gathered some experience. Julia started as a monster keeper at a very young age, so she has more experience. They're both already keeper lancers, and we're just keeper aspirants. That means they're three ranks above us. But since there's many more champions around than usual, we might catch up with them eventually. Here, this monster journal might help you, don't worry. Oh, okay, this is like the Pokédex. My grandfather gr created these journals. They have a lot of empty pages, but these pages will be filled as you find and collect new monsters. That's awesome. What are you doing here? It's dangerous in the blue caves. Don't you have any grasp of what's going on? I, Leonard of Narishma Bloodline, will take care of these champion monsters. It's not the right task for some rookies. We will see. Oh, he's just he's just running in there. Full boat. <laughs> I just love I named a boat. Uh, something tells me that we should watch out for Will. Leonard, on the other hand, I hope that you will surpass surpass him in rank at some point. Wouldn't hurt his ego. This is so weird having just like a single one of these that are um 
that are helping me. Also, I know I am covering a little bit of the UI. I do apologize. I tried to find like the best spot for it. Um, but, oh, whoa. This is like the full art for these. This is so cool. This is so cool. So like, I, I, I wonder if you get five stars, you catch the champions. Um, Cause that is so cool. Um, but okay, well, we'll go ahead and uh, continue. Um, we'll discover the blue caves. Oh, there's already some quirky stuff. Yeah, let's, let's get some fights in here. Um, okay, here's my prediction. I think that the, the, the buff on the top of them is what is strong against them. That's what I hope, and that's what I think. Because like, it looks like that's a fire guy up there. So I want to get my water guy, um, which is not actually in my party, I don't think. Um, is he? No, no, okay, boat is. Yeah, boat is, and um, that's it. So I also want fire. Okay, I think this is the team. I. I'm sure there's a more optimal way to do this, but um, we got the healing in here. So we're going to do Fire Claws here. Got a couple hits in. Probably should have actually done Bubble Burst first because that deals even more hits. And then this guy, he's just hes going to do whatever he wants to do because he's my healing guy. He's got nothing special. Oh, Acid Rain. Dang. Just gonna do a ton of damage to my guys. Okay, these guys are actually like a little hurting now. <laughs> um, we'll do bubbles to this guy. Oh, we poisoned him. Nice. Should be able to kill this guy. And um, that poison sh should kill the guy, but I'm not confident. And they actually hurt. So I'm gonna just go ahead and finish that off. Which probably wasn't, you know, the play, but... That just hurts everybody. I uh, get bubbles in here, get a lot of hits in. Poisoned him, that's what I like to see. Uh, we'll just do a base slash, see if we can get some crits. We did. Uh, we just killed the guy. Awesome. Probably should have healed. Maybe would have helped my score a little bit, but... Uh, three stars. Um, we did not get eggs, but we leveled some stuff up. We leveled boat up. Um, so... I don't know, we could improve, improve our magic. That seems like a pretty good play. Either that or getting Bubbles level 2. Which, actually, I think Bubbles level 2 is good in case we, you know, want to use the water stuff. Uh, Jimmy went up. Um, what was Jimmy even doing? Like, uh, we already have a fire guy. Like, our main guy is fire guy, so he was just going, oh, super buff, I guess. Um... Increase the man, I guess. Um, Jello. Jello's kind of starting to fall off for me. Like, he does a lot of healing. Maybe I need to, like, try to use him more as a healer. Um, we could either get some water damage on him or earth damage. But the problem is, is these are my two big, like, guys I really want. Like, Boat and Lego, I'm really liking. And this guy does fire. He does fire and um, neutral. And I could even give him wind, honestly, which is like crazy good. Um, I probably should do that because no one else like has wind up here. And then this guy has, you know, um, he's got water and earth. So between these two, we have most of that figured out. Um, I guess like I could use this guy as like a crazy good healer. Um, acid rains water, water. Um, I think, okay, maybe we do this and we, we start giving him some poison as well. Um, yeah, I think that's what we do. Because I like this guy. I think if he actually is a good healer, he might be able to, you know, do some good for us here. Um, here, we're needing a key. I'm sure that uh, is where the champion is. I could totally see that. Ooh, what? okay. Here, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Wait a minute, we got someone here too. Also, I really like that like you can use all of the monsters even if they're not in your party so you don't have to like just switch a ton. I like that. Um, now like here, like I think like I could create a brick, right? Who, who created the brick? This guy? 
and like I think I can jump up here and then I think I could break it what what do we think's gonna break this maybe fire no something's gonna break this it's not slashing it's not igniting it's obviously not flying is it is this really not how I break this do I have no way of breaking oh what Oh, it seemed like it was hitting it, but I don't know. I guess that's not the way to do it. Oh, we got a blue cave key. Okay, it literally was just right there. Oh, here's here's a secret. A bracelet. So, yeah, I'm wondering what was able to break that. Unless maybe it's like a one-way door or something. Oh, here's some quirky guys. We want to catch them. Um, so we need water and fire, pretty much, right? Um, we want water and fire. So we have our water. This is actually where we can choose our monsters. We'll get that guy. Um, we'll get this guy, and then we'll get the other fire guy, our support guy here. Um, do some bubbles to build up the combo meter. Oh, we even poisoned him. Awesome. Um... For this, I think we just buff all our guys. We're gonna get like an extremely high score here. That's what we're doing. We're trying harding a high score to actually catch these guys uh, on fire. So we'll go ahead and awesome. We got two. We got crits. I like. I like this guy. That guy's one of my favorite party members, honestly. Um, he was poisoned. He's gonna take a little bit of di oh oh oh. He broke the shields. I thought for a second like he straight up like killed my guy at first and i was like thinking it was like the pokemon uh, that explodes themselves i think that's it's like the one that looks like a pokeball or whatever but that's what i thought it was and i was like what um i probably should have done some shields or something because i don't think i'm going to be able to finish this off unless i get like really lucky with crits got one crit was decent um we're taking a little bit of damage we actually haven't taken like a ton of damage um but I don't, it wasn't as like great as I was expecting, so. Oh, we got five stars still, awesome. And we got a Tangu Egg, okay. Awesome, so what is the Tangu Egg? So it's this fire guy, uh, what are we, I wanna name him Tamale. Like I said, not a creative uh, name person, <laughs> but, oh, go back, come on, Tam. Tamale. I think that's how you spell it. If not, it was an artistic approach. Uh, let's try to figure this out. What, is, what does he do? He does fireball, ton of damage, explosion, fire damage, ton of damage. Oh, so he's got two fire ones. Uh, another fire, magical damage, and he's got earth, poison bomb. Oh my gosh, okay. Well, I like the crit one where it's going to deal... You know, damage to a lot. Oh, oh, he can't even do that yet. Okay. Well, yeah, give him a physical one in case, you know, that's that's good. Um, I don't know. Just buff up his, you know, mana and stuff like that. Um, ultimately, don't, you know, care too much about him. Um, oh, these are like puzzles, aren't they? For down there, oh, I don't, I don't remember what's down there. Crap. Okay. Um, my guess is we gotta move this. I'm gonna move this like all. I'm gonna move all of them all the way up. This is what I'm gonna do. And then I'm gonna move this one down one. And I'm gonna move this one down two. Cause I don't remember. But like my guess is if we need to get to the top left, that would naturally make stairs potentially. Right? I feel like that should be how... Eh. 10,000 IQ play right there. Um, oh, I meant to look at the map here. I don't really care about you guys anymore. Um, where's my bird? That's what I want. I want my bird. To bring me up. Oh, come on. Bring me up. Oh, what? Like, it feels like I should... Oh, okay, there we go. Got some ribbon... Just want to try to dodge these guys. Guitar. Um, is this a wall I can break? 
It's not. Okay. Oh, geez. I didn't want to fight these guys. Um, so we just want water. We want like all the water damage we have, which we actually only have one water damage. Um, they're not good against fire damage, so that's pointless, but I still want to take that guy. Um, and these all are going to do fire damage, so I don't know. We probably don't even want this grass guy. Wait, are both of these guys the gra <sighs> grass people? These guys are going to destroy my people then. Um, but I, I want the water. Um, no, no, no. Okay, no. This means he's strong against grass. And he's weak against... So, okay, none of my people are weak against fire except him. No. He's resistant to fire. I'm... I'm trying to even figure... figure Like, I feel like I'm so, so dumb with this stuff. I don't know. I don't know, like, why I'm so bad with this, but... Um, Featherstorm, we're gonna just do this, build up a ton of the combo. That should build up, like, yes, yeah, six of the combo. So then we can do some crazy combo slash, potentially. Didn't get any of them. But then, this bubble move will deal a lot. Probably won't kill, but probably should have put them all on the same person. It's my bad. Oh, wow, that took- oh, jeez. Oh my, these guys are- I already, I already lost someone. I straight up already lost someone. That's insane. Um, we'll go ahead and finish this person off. Oh, I probably shouldn't have done that. They had already uh, been poisoned. Maybe we can poison this guy. Okay, cool. So he should be dead. Oh, he was so close. Flame strike. Oh my gosh. I'm, I'm taking, like, damage, damage. Um only have one of the slices maybe we can poison this guy as well oh nice we poisoned him I'll probably still take one more turn to kill him though there we go here we go here we go cool at least we got some experience we'll take it take it as that got some stuff um, a lot of people actually leveled up so I'll take it um, okay so our crit guy I think I think we get the wind attack honestly I think we're at the point where I'm never using that I'm mainly doing this one so that just gives me crit chance which would be really nice oh that's that's actually really tempting but I can get crit chance from here too seven I probably have three more here like, so one, two, three. Yeah, because just having wind, like, if they're, if they're good against, you know, wind, that's going to be pretty important. Um, see, I don't, I don't know what I'm doing with this guy, honestly. I wasn't really planning on, like, using these too much. What was I doing? Spores with this guy? Like, the ones I don't care about, I honestly, I feel bad. I need to be, like, um, I don't know, this tamale guy is potentially better than Rocky Road, I think. Because yeah, you can only choose out of your party. So... Um... Oh, okay, so we want him to... This is how we do it. We just... Who who creates the platforms? There we go. There's a mush... Oh, there's a mushroom guy. Okay. Um... I'm trying to think. So, I want fire, fire, fire. I just want all, my, all the fire I can get. Well, that's easy, because I have uh, fire, fire, fire. Got a lot of fire here. Um, we'll go ahead and start off with physical damage. This hits all enemies. Yeah, we'll do that. I feel like that's, that's the way to go. That probably gets us a combo of three, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, ignite. This guy is not very powerful. I need to make sure all my guys at least have some random items on. Um... Oh, okay. He's low. It healed a little bit, dang. Oh, and it healed the burn away. It's kind of crazy. Poison bomb. Guys are actually taking a decent amount of damage here. Dang. Um, I think we hit all enemies. I think that's still the...
play potentially because this guy can just ignite and kill that guy cool and then we'll have a lot of combo damage here for the potential kill if we can get some crits in oh there we go awesome crit dude did the crits hopefully we can get one of these um oh the guy got has no um has no mana for his fire attack. That's a problem I gotta kinda figure out. I gotta get some more like mana or mana regen items on him. Um, oh, he's still dead, cool. Four, uh, fungi egg, awesome. Awesome, awesome, we got a new, new guy. Uh, fungi, what do we name him? Uh, we name him we name him Ryan, <laughs> one of our <laughs> one of my good friends, uh, who uh, Plug has been on the podcast before. Uh, if you watch my podcast channel, uh, Neon Apes, shameless plug. Um, he's been on it before. His name's like goes by Red. I'm um, his poison stuff, physical damage, leaf stuff. Sure. Um, like I don't know. I probably should like be paying attention to these if I actually want to use these guys. Like. I have the, you know, things, but let's, let's real fast make sure everyone in my squad here actually has, you know, items in some capacity here. Um, Brooch, 10 mana crit Oh, okay. That guy. Hmm. Well, see, I was going to say like, it'd be good on the crit guy, but the crit guy has really good items, honestly, right now. So like, I don't actually know. Um... Does this guy have any equipment? Oh, crit chance plus 7%? That's kind of insane. Um, honestly, we probably actually want to put that Katar on. Do a little bit of adjusting here. Um, it's like, what? let me see, what is this? Defense, okay. Yeah, what, what, what would you have on here? Defense? Yeah, no, this that's going to help you a ton. Okay, now we can move along. There's a mushroom here. This looks like a secret. This is definitely a secret. Um, what? Some of these walls I am like so sure are secrets, but I don't know. I <laughs> probably being gung ho on this. Um, so I gotta like have a way to like go up for that. I feel like we're getting close to some sort of conclusion here. Not not a conclusion, but like a champion or something. Red gem. A lot of cool stuff here. Don't really care about any of you guys. Can I? Th okay, we're gonna pick that guy. Oh, here we go. Stand back and watch how a real keeper. It's a monster. Wait, you're just gonna like one hit it? Another glorious victory. What's going on over here? What's going on over here? Got a big room here. Um, we have a teleporting thing. So is this like kind of like a new hub world, I think? There's a locked key here. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and call it. Um, I feel like we got to a good, decent stopping point here by finding like a main hub world uh, in the like blue gem area. Um, and so, yeah, we, we've discovered a lot in this episode. We uh, the whole stronghold, um, you know, all this red gem or blue, blue cave area. I don't know why I call it red gem. It's like the exact opposite of what it is. Um, but I, th th this has been a ton of fun, honestly, and I'm having so much fun with this this game. Um, like I'm definitely going to be making uh, more uh, or I'm going to be playing the game a lot more because I want to make a full review. But like I need to sink my teeth in the game, play several hours, you know, um, you know, a lot more than the normal game to actually like make a full review on it. Because, you know, a lot of people made a lot of like real fast, like 1.0 um, reviews that I feel like weren't um, they didn't actually play the 1.0 stuff. Um, but, you know, to be fair, you know, I've done stuff like that in the past. Um, 
so I, I'm not like perfectly innocent. But for this game, I kind of want to like focus and actually like play a lot of it before I make the review. So um, if you have enjoyed this Let's Play, um, I really, really appreciate you guys watching. Uh, you know, let me know in the comments down below and stuff like that. Um, and subscribe to, you know, see the full review that'll be coming out uh, and, you know, hopefully a couple days um, after this uh, video comes out. If you're watching it like way ahead of time, um, the review's probably already out. So check at the end of the video or in the comments description. I'll, I'll let you guys know if, if it's out by now. Um, but just thank you guys so much. Uh, and if you're going to be grinding out some levels of your characters uh, in Monster Sanctuary, I wish you guys luck and see you guys next time.